On this video, I am cooking up cha sao, Chinese barbecue pork on the primo round. Let's get going. I absolutely love Chinese food and cha sao is one of my favorite. It's that red barbecue pork you see in the Chinese restaurants. And I think I found a pretty authentic recipe. This is actually, it's a Chinese cook and this is her home recipe. So looking forward to this cook. We're going to start off with a very, very basic sauce, which we're also going to use as a marinade. I have here one quarter cup low sodium soy sauce, two tablespoons oyster sauce, two tablespoons honey, A lot of the Chinese recipes will use maltose, which is a like a malt kind of a syrup. It's just a little bit more difficult to find than, than honey. Everybody has honey. Two tablespoons rice wine. Substitute mirin. You can find that at any grocery store. This next ingredient is pretty cool. A lot of the recipes you'll find online, they're using red food coloring, which is really not that good for you to give it that red hue. I'm sure a lot of the Chinese restaurants are using red food coloring as well. Here we are using red yeast rice, and this is ground into a powder form. Uh, another option that, that the cook in this uh, recipe was using was fermented tofu with red yeast rice. Um, I found this at Sprouts, kind of a healthy grocery store in the supplement aisle. So something to think about. I'll put a link online. I'm sure it's probably available on Amazon as well. Now this isn't real bright red, so we'll see how red the end product is. But the cool thing is, is this is actually good for you. It's not, uh, not bad for you. So let's dump that in. Then we have here one teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Dump that in. Let's go ahead and give this a stir. And there we go. This has almost a kind of a red velvety kind of a color as opposed to that really bright red that you see in a lot of the Chinese restaurants, which is a good thing. I mean, it smells great. It smells really, really good. We are ready to prep the pork. So I'm going to be using a pork loin on this cook today. I have here a five and a half pounder, beautiful pork loin. It actually have really nice, even fat cap on it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick score. Now I'm going to take one of these meat tenderizers and we're going to pierce the meat throughout to give it a nice penetration when the marinade hits. All right, now we're going to get this in the marinade. So handy dandy zip top bag. Into the bag, I'm going to put four cloves of garlic peeled and then just simply sliced. And I have here some fresh ginger. This is about three, four inches long and the diameter of about a dime or five cent piece actually, sliced very thin, peeled. Then that sauce that we're going to use as a marinade. I've taken about two tablespoons or so of this, two or three tablespoons and reserved it. We're going to use that as a glaze later on. Let's go ahead and pour this in. Get the air, as much air as we can. There we are. This is going to go in the refrigerator overnight. I'll meet you guys tomorrow out of the grill. Okay, the pork's all marinated now. Again, it went overnight. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of a reddish color to it. Primo's running's rock solid, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Have just a little bit of cherry wood just to add a little bit of sweet smoke flavor to it. Ready to start cooking. So 
So my target temperature for this pork loin is going to be 150 degrees Fahrenheit. As I near the end of this cook, I'm going to be basting it with a 50-50 blend of that sauce I made with honey. And probably, I don't know, about an hour or so into the cook, I'll be bumping the cooker temperature up to more of a roasting temp. Let me show you how I dialed in that 250 degrees. I had that top damper set. It's about a, probably about an eighth of an inch open, the daisy wheel. And the bottom damper is open, again, about a finger's width. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we are one hour, 20 minutes in. Temperature of the pork right now is about 122. We're going to take this from a, that kind of a low and slow, more up to a roast at this point. I just, again, it's not gonna be a very long cook, so I just wanna make sure we get a crust that I'm going to be happy with. Let's take a look at the pork first. There you go, you can see it's just starting to render out the fat, but again, I just need it to happen faster than it is. Let's go ahead and make those damper adjustments. Start out by adjusting the daisy wheel. Let's fully open the daisy wheel and then we'll crack it open to where a little less than a quarter of an inch here on a crescent. Damper here, just pop it open a little bit more. And that should do the trick. These ceramics, they react very quickly to minor adjustments. So again, at this point, we're transitioning to a roast. See you guys in a bit. All right, we are at 1.30 now. It's time to baste. I hit this with that glaze and again this is that sauce with equal amounts of honey added to it. I only have a little bit of this left so let's go ahead and just go for broke here. All right, I'm just gonna take this up to about 140. We'll pull it, shouldn't take very long at all. Okay, we just hit 145. Total cook time was just a little over two hours. Let's take a look. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this from the cooker. I'm gonna take it in the house, just lightly tinted with foil. Let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes before we give it a slice and the taste test. See you guys in a bit. That long 20 minutes has elapsed. Let's try this thing out. Definitely juicy. So look at that. That is gorgeous and the smell of that five spice is just in the air right now, even just sitting there. It smells like a legitimate Chinese restaurant. When like you're in Chinatown, you go into one of the real Chinese restaurants, that, that, that smell of all those spices, this is what it smells like. Let's try this out. So tender. Mm. Wow. So right off the bat, it's that marinade and that glaze that just stands out very, very strong. I mean, you're smelling it as you're taking your bite, but you know, that, that Chinese five spice just, just really out front there, but in a good way. It's not overpowering. It's just that nice kind of savoriness. Very happy with this. And then you get that sweetness from the glaze, from the honey. So this recipe rocks as far as that glaze is concerned and I'm going to do pork ribs because I love the Chinese style barbecued pork ribs. The second thing that just is really standing out on this particular cook is how moist this pork is. I mean it's not you know rare or medium rare by any stretch but it's just so moist. I mean look at my cutting board. Look at this. It's crazy. Primo rocked this cook. Wow. Very happy. Anyway, guys, let's try out my beer here. I have not had this before. It's a Ballast Point, and this is, you're gonna laugh, Moscow Mule L. And I'll tell you why I chose this. It's because ale with ginger and lime added. So, 
my thought was, even though it seems like a very strange choice, that it may pair well with, with this particular recipe in the pork. Let's see. I just love their labels. Wow. Yeah, it does not pair well. There's, um, you definitely get the ginger, but there's too much lime, I think. It tastes, uh, tastes kind of like pickle juice. <laughs> It'll sit there. Anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping by. Keep the requests coming in. Had a lot of fun on this cook. Until the next video, cheers.